Okay, hello authors, book lovers, and storytellers. Welcome to another session here in Reader's Magnet's featured author interview. My name is Leah and I am your host for today. With me is one of the Reader's Magnet's featured author, Ms. Jamie Fry, author of the book Servant's Heart from the Voice of Anne Volunteer. So today she will be sharing to us what this book is all about, her being an author, and what inspired her to write this book. All right. Yeah. So hi, Jamie. So this is the moment we've been waiting for. Right. And I'm very excited to have this discussion with you. And I'm pretty sure that your fans and of course, our viewers, too. So, yeah, let's get it on. Thank now, how are you? How are you doing? Thank you for having me today. Thank you. I'm doing great. That's Thank good. you. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to know, Jamie. So here. I'm going to start with the title of your book. OK. Oh, wait. Hold on. Um, do you have your book with you right now? Can you I show it to us? You. Let's see. What side do mm -hmm. I want to put it on? Ah, that side. There we go. That side. Ah, there you go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <All right. laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. Thank you yeah. so much, Jamie. So yeah, I wanted to start with the title. <laughs> yes, right. So I wanted called? to start with the title first. Sure. Can you tell us what the title mean? Okay. Servant's Heart. That's how it started as a servant's heart. And then I decided, well, I am a volunteer, so I added, um, you know, from the voice of a volunteer. So it's about serving. It's about um, encouraging other people to serve and trying to explain to them what God feels we should be doing when we're serving and volunteering. Mm, right. That's that's very great to hear, um, Jamie. You know, the inspiration coming from your book is knowing one's purpose to also be um drawn closer to God and of course to know what's your purpose, especially in changing someone's lives, right? Now yes. that means that this story is also based on your own experience. Yes, very much mm -hmm. so. That's right. Now can you share to us the events that led you into writing? Into writing this book or just writing period? Well, I wrote this book because I saw some events where I was serving that needed to be noticed, changed, you know, um, mm -hmm. they were things that, you know, I just thought needed to, to be addressed. So I basically um, started writing this book, thought I'd get some background, some research, and then um, took some pictures and did some things to just um, encourage people to understand that God wants us all to volunteer and that, that um, there's certain things that when we volunteer, we don't always understand and, and who's the boss and who we're supposed to report to and, and all the different things that entails being a volunteer. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's good to hear, Jamie. Now, um, that being said, Jamie, is there also like a surprising um, moment that you discovered while writing this book? Uh, well, it helped me to draw closer to God. It helped me to see that there are kids as well as adults and different venues and different ways to volunteer. Um, when I went looking for a book online or even in the store, I didn't see any books out there for volunteering, you know, in the Christian mm. environment anyways. And so I thought, well, this would be something that it would at least encourage people and show them um, where they can go to volunteer. See, so most people don't understand volunteering. There's many venues that you can go, places that you can go. You know, you can go to your church, of course. You can go to a, a bookstore, a library. You can um, vol volunteer just about anywhere. Um, there's certain time periods of the year that you can volunteer, like Christmas, you know, mm -hmm. um, Thanksgiving, you know, stuff like that. You can go to a soup chicken, a soup <laughs> kitchen. You can go to, and you can even volunteer at work. There are times when right. they need you for venues, for events, you know, when people do Christmas parties or birthday parties for other people, you know, big events, you know, museums, all kinds of places that you can go to volunteer and, and just, and just do it. And some people even do it to unfurther their career. Sometimes they do it for those reasons, which is not the real reason you should be volunteering. You should be doing mm -hmm. it from the kindness of your heart and doing it because it's, a venue that you appreciate. You can volunteer at a, a, a with, with pets and, and give mm -hmm. things there as well. And those people don't they don't get paid most of the time. You know, um, I serve at my church. I don't get paid for it. 
Um, we have a leadership conference coming next week. I serve food. I volunteer mm -hmm. to talk shop in a bookstore. You know, help people, especially the college students, figure out where a book is. You know, I help out in the coffee shop. <laughs> Most people don't like to do what I get to do. And that is vacuum and dust and help in um, put books out on the shelf and even decorate sometimes and put out Christmas cards and, and certain, you know, certain things at the time of the year that are needed for um, mm -hmm. Father's Day, for Mother's Day, all kinds of different things. Um, and it's a lot of fun because I get to encourage people with a card. I get to encourage people with a gift, a decoration, you know, and, and just it, there's so many reasons why you want to volunteer. And there right. are some things that you don't like to do. And there's other things that you get to do. So it's a lot of fun to volunteer. Mm -hmm, right. So with that being said, Jamie, I can tell that um, your book is also, you know, advocating for a specific cause or agenda. Now, can you tell me if why this is very important to you to also share your story with experience that you have um, that you have experienced from the past? Right. Can you tell me why is this something that is very important for you? It's important to me because it's it's to, pe to teach people that we need more volunteers. There isn't enough mm -hmm. volunteers out there. The ones that do volunteer, most of us do two or three things at once, you know, and don't, right. don't get me wrong. We enjoy it. We love it. But we also like to fellowship with people and we like to encourage people and we like to from different age groups, you know, from teenagers to college to um, stay home moms, all of them. They need something to do when they get outside, you know, when there's nothing to do at home, when they've cleaned up everything and they want to do something. And we would appreciate it if they would pick something that they enjoy doing. I mean, you can go somewhere and sew and volunteer and teach somebody how to do that. There's so many reasons why we need help. We have a generation out there that don't know how to do certain things. And if we have that gift and that skill, why don't we go and use it to teach somebody how to do it? Um, it, it's not, it's not just a, it's about reaching out and making a difference in other people's lives. It's a, it's a good example that we can make to our kids. If you are also helping them build self-esteem and you grow personally in yourself with other people and with God. So, you know, and you're learning how to be, um, with people. Sometimes we're widows we, we, like me, I'm a widow. You don't want to just stay home and watch TV and read a book and do all these boring things all the time. You want to go out and meet people mm -hmm. you want to go out and do things with other people. And, right. and if you're one of those that have been a, a widow for just a short period of time, we'll go out and find what it is that you'd like to do and enjoy and meet people and do things. So volunteering is very important. It, the, it helps you get out of your comfort zone. It gets you out there. <laughs> wow. Do something fun. Right. And with other people. I mean, you can go on trips and stuff with people and volunteer mm -hmm. even on that bus and help hand out something. You know, it, it's it's about just helping other people and mm -hmm. helping them doing it. <laughs> Wow. Thank you so much for sharing that one to us, Jamie. And here, um, I think we already have a viewer, so why not let's invite them? So for those who are watching us live, you can grab a copy of Jamie's book, Servant's Heart from the Voice of a Volunteer. That's going to be available in blurb.com and her website, www.24avalon.com. And you may also follow her on all the social media platforms she have. Now, Jamie, I really love with what I am hearing right now, and of course, our viewers too. You know, uh, coming from you with all the inspiration, stories behind your book, and I know that those things you've shared earlier, it is the thing that, you know, what makes the book so captivating. Now, Jamie, I know that um, the purpose of the book is also um, letting people know what are the things that they really need to also discover with um with not just for themselves but for the other persons too for the for the, for the other people too right now what do you like to do um this is going to be a personal question okay now what do you like to do when you're not writing because i've heard that you're also into music is it something oh, that you're okay. like doing too i am I <laughs> in a choir at my church uh -huh. uh, <laughs> well piano, that's great you know um i sing i've written a few songs I mean, one of the poems in the back of the book is a song that I wrote. I, mm -hmm. I try to, um, I write poems sometimes in the back of the book. I do puzzles. I have some, you know, I have, it started with a, a Thomas Kincaid 
painting that somebody gave me. Mm. And they're very expensive. And they're even more expensive now than <laughs> so. Mm. Um, what I've done is I collected some puzzles that are Thomas Kincaid puzzles and I picked those, mm. put them together, glued the back of them. And then I put them in a picture frame and put them up on the wall. So now I have some Disney ones that I, I have small Disney ones. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> adorable. Um, I have a, one that's a church one that is going to be put in my bedroom. I have mm. ones that are like, um, mini and, um, and Mickey, you know, and them at the beach in Hawaii. Oh, it's a gorgeous mm -hmm. with a rainbow. I have, you know, they're just, and then I want, I have one with Pocahontas with a, a pirate ship. Wow. These are really small <laughs> ones. That's little, beautiful. Oh yeah. But they're so decorative to put into rooms, you know, make this right. a guest room. It One looks like for a boy, one looks like for a girl. I can put some one downstairs. It, mm -hmm. it, I had fun doing them. A lot of people did this during, you know, um, when we were COVID and everything and stuck mm -hmm. in our house That's and not right. able to do things. And it and it's just it started where, you know, I can put these up on the wall. I put them in a poster um mm -hmm. frame. And if they're small and they don't fit the full picture frame, I also put a color <laughs> border behind it with the just a poster board, a mm -hmm. black one or a blue one, and it makes them pop. And it, it's just wow. something decorative, just something colorful to put up on your blank wall, you know, and mm -hmm. that's something I love to do. Um, I read, I write. Um, what else do I do? Um, I love <laughs> <to> do. Uh, <laughs> um, my mother got me into reading books and then all of a sudden I started writing. I never thought mm -hmm. I'd ever write a book. I mean, I will tell you mm -hmm. my English when I was in high school was awful. <laughs> I really <laughs> learned more when I went to college. So it's really a discovery, huh? <laughs> yeah. We enjoy it. now. It's so much fun. And um, it's just things that, you know, there's so many things we can do um, that can keep us indoors that are fun and stuff outside that can help us have fun. Yeah, so those right. are what I like to do. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you so much for sharing that to us, Jamie. Now, I wanted to also ask this um, to you. After reading a book, what would you like your readers to feel after reading it? Well, this doesn't sound so, you know, some of us, <laughs> I, want, I want them to have happiness, of course. And mm. I would like them to have a little bit of fear. And I'm talking mm. about God. That I, yeah. when I'm out there volunteering, that I'm doing the right things. I'm doing it for the right reasons. Plus, I don't want, I want, I want them to understand that they're going to be ashamed and embarrassed a little bit. I want them to understand that, um, and I'm, I'm talking ashamed and embarrassed because they need to know that why aren't they volunteering in the first place? The ones that aren't mm -hmm. and the ones that are need to do something about it and encourage other people to volunteer. That's how I got started. I had a friend at church who volunteered and, and just dragged me along and asked me to come volunteer with her. And that's how it started. So we mm. also that are volunteering, we have to be an advocate. We have to also go out there and make sure that we're asking people to join us and do the same. It's, it's right. not, just, you know, but they also, you know, that's why I'm saying happiness, but fear, but shame and embarrassment, because they, we're depending on what stage you're in and where you are, mm -hmm. will you depending on where you are in your volunteering. So if you're not out there helping somebody or, I'm asking somebody to, you should be ashamed of yourself because you're not doing it. If, and if you're, you should be embarrassed as well. But if you are volunteering, I'm happy for you. But do a little bit more. Step out of your comfort zone and ask somebody mm -hmm. else to come with you. Right. Wow, that's a wonderful message. Jamie, thank you so much for that. And you know what, Jamie, I will be honest. I think I also need your book because I love it. You know, I love the inspiration, purpose, the story behind you writing this book. I think that this is the kind of book that everybody should have. You know, from the guidance, the things that you can do to draw closer to God, right? To make a difference, not just for yourself, but in also for other people's lives, right? Yeah. 
So, you know what, Jamie? I must say that it was an interesting discussion, Jamie. Thank you so much for gracing with us today. All right, everyone. So, Jamie Fry, author of the book Servant's Heart for the Voice of a Volunteer. Her book is available in blurb.com and, of course, her website, www.24avalon.com. Again, thank you so much, Jamie. As we say here with Reader's Magnet, we share your story with the world. Well, thank you so much for having me today. Have a great day. You too, Jamie. Thank you. Thank you.